Hello and welcome to one and all. In today's class, we will check out the numerical problems in arithmetic mean. Okay. So, the computation of arithmetic mean. We have already finished with the theory part. That is, what is the relationship between economics and statistics? What are all the merits and drawbacks of mean, median, mode? And also, what are all the characteristics of good average? So, all those are the theoretical questions now coming to the numerical problems we will check out some of the uh, problems in arithmetic mean median and mode so to start with let us check out the arithmetic mean okay so the first the computation of arithmetic mean individual series and that to direct method okay so we all know the formula isn't it arithmetic mean is equal to x bar which is equal to sigma x divided by n so what is that sigma x sum of x values divided by number of x values so let us take the example so that's question number one the following are the marks obtained by six students in a test calculate the arithmetic mean so let us arrange that in serial wise so serial wise the first one 70 marks is, uh, x happens to be the marks okay second 80 third 40 fourth one 50 fifth one 65 sixth one 45 okay so what how many what is the number of observations you are having six okay so n is equal to six so formula is x bar is equal to sigma x divided by n so x happens to be the marks so when you add all these marks x so 70 plus 80 plus 40 plus 50 plus 65 plus 45 we are getting sigma x as 350 okay so 350 that is sigma x divided by 6 that is n okay so when we are div divided you are getting 58.3 so that means what arithmetic mean happens to be 58.3 so x bar is equal to 58.3 so this is a very simple method and so the formula if you remember the formula it will be very easy for you to calculate just sigma x divided by n so this is for individual series so if you are getting a question like this individual series then this is the way you have to calculate the arithmetic mean okay now let us move on to the next one the discrete series okay so second one computation of arithmetic mean discrete series using the shortcut method so first uh, remember the formula so this is the formula x bar is equal to a plus sigma fd divided by n okay so always what you have to do is remember the formula and based on the formula what are all the variables you have to calculate so based on that you can identify the answer okay so first what is x bar x bar is the arithmetic mean now a here represent the assumed mean okay we are taking the from the given data we are taking the assumed mean okay so a represents the assumed mean and f here represents is a sigma fd so f here represents the frequency okay and now d represents the deviation from the assumed mean okay we have taken the assumed mean and what is the deviation from that assuming that you have to keep on subtra uh, subtracting so then you will get the d and then sigma fd is sum of the product of the deviations multiply with its respective frequencies first you have to calculate uh, fd that is frequency multiplied with the deviation and after uh, mul multiplying you have to add the product then you will get the sigma fd n and n represents the total number of frequencies or sigma f so you have to add all the frequency the sum total is the sigma f that happens to be n okay so th this is the shortcut method for discrete series now let us check out with an example so the question number calculate arithmetic mean for the data given below so you can see that this is a uh, discrete series so first one income second one is the income happens to be the x and persons happens to be f okay so rewrite arrange it in this way so income is 400 persons that is frequency f next income 600 7 800 is the income frequency happens to be 10 that is persons and 1000 the next one income is the 1000 frequency is 15 then 1200 20 1400 income 
frequency the number of persons so frequency is number of persons who are receiving the income in that range okay that's what we make, mean it as frequency so 25 persons are receiving in that range so 1400 next 1600 income so 9 happens to be the frequency 1800 the number of persons or the frequency is 6 and 2000 the number of persons you are receiving it is 3 okay so what is the formula a plus sigma fd divided by n so now first let us calculate whatever is given the, from the given data let us calculate n okay so n is what is this is sigma f f is the persons sigma f happens to be n so you add all this 5 plus 7 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 9 plus 6 plus 3 we are getting 100 okay so sigma f or n happens to be 100 okay now next is we have to calculate d d what is d x minus a so a is the assumed mean so i have taken assumed mean a as 1200 you can take 1200 you can take 1400 anything is your wish but i have taken 1200 as the assumed mean okay now what you have to do x minus a what is x income x is income assumed mean is 1200 so first you keep on subtracting d is equal to x minus a so 400 minus 1200 we are getting minus 800 600 minus 1200 we are getting minus 600 800 minus 1200 we are getting minus 400 then 1000 minus 1200 we are getting minus 200 and then 1200 minus 1200 we are getting zero 1400 remember x minus a okay so 1400 minus 1200 we are getting plus 200 1600 minus 1200 we are getting plus 400 1800 minus 1200 we are getting plus 600 2000 minus 1200 we are getting plus 800 okay now what is the next thing you have to find out fd so multiply d with frequency okay so that means what 5 into minus 800 so that is uh, minus 4000 7 into minus 600 you are getting minus 4200 10 into minus 400 we are getting minus 4000 15 into minus 200 we are getting minus 3000 20 into z 0 we are getting 0 25 into 200 we are getting plus because it is plus so it's a, a positive symbol so plus 5000 9 into 400 we are getting plus 3600 6 into 600 we are getting again 3600 and finally 3 into 800 we are getting plus 2400 so now add all these all the negative symbols we are getting the total 4000 plus 4200 plus 4000 plus 3000 3, add all this we are getting minus 15200 because it is a negative symbol and, and now add all the plus symbols 5000 plus 3600 plus 3600 again plus 2400 we are getting plus 14600 so 14600 minus 15200 we are getting sigma fd happens to be minus 600 okay now what is the formula x bar is equal to so we are getting minus 600 now you apply the formula okay we know the formula isn't it x bar is equal to a plus sigma fd divided by n so a assumed even what we have taken this is 1200 plus sigma fd we we arrived at minus 600 so minus 600 n is 100 so n happens to be 100 so simplify it so so solve this so 1200 minus 6 is equal to 1194 so this is the arithmetic mean so finally x bar or the arithmetic mean happens to be 1194 okay so this is the way you have to calculate for the discrete series so what you have to do you have to first write the formula and according to the formula what are all the uh, values you have to find out find out all that and then you apply the formula and solve the answer so for your this is the shortcut method so you have to calculate the d uh, i repeat again so i have taken you have to take the assumed mean you can take any value even 400 also you can take the assumed mean all these things you just have to subtract x from the assumed mean okay i have taken 1200 and this is the 
answer any answer any value any assumed mean you take the value will be the same so that's why one of the merits of arith arithmetic mean we have seen it is rigidly defined so it is the value is certain so this is the advantage of it okay so this is as far as the discrete series is concerned now let us check out one more uh, problem based on continuous series which we will do in the step deviation method or the shortcut method okay so third one computation of arithmetic mean continuous series based on step deviation or the very shortcut method okay so here the formula is instead of d you will have d d dash okay so x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d dash divided by n into i okay now here what is x bar x bar is as usual the arithmetic mean a is the assumed mean okay and f you know it is a frequency and n is the sigma f that is the total number of frequencies and d dash is the deviation from the assumed mean divided by the size of class interval so the answer it will be simple okay so you know what is d isn't it so if the same the whatever the value you are getting d d is x minus a so whatever the value you are getting in d if you divide it by, by with the common multiple so here we are taking the class interval because the continuous it is so if you divide it with the com uh, class interval then the or the common multiple then the uh, the values will be very small it will be easy for us to calculate that's why it is a very shortcut method so d dash is the deviation from the assumed mean that is x minus a divided by size of class interval that is i okay so i is the size of class interval and sigma f d dash as usual you are multiplying the uh, product uh, d dash with frequency and finding out the sum of f d dash you are arriving at the sigma f d dash okay now let us check out one problem so this is question number three calculate arithmetic mean from the following data so age group and the age group happens to be x and the number of persons happens to be f okay now what you are finding here it is 10 to 19 20 to 29 30 to 39 so what is the what is happening here so the above data is in inclusive form okay so you, you are finding a gap so what first first thing what we have to do is if the given data is in inclusive form we have to convert it into exclusive form okay so what we have to do we have to subtract 0.5 from the lower end and add of the class interval so 10 is the lower end of the class interval 19 is the upper end of the class interval 20 is the lower end of the class interval 29 is the upper end of the class interval and so on so we have to subtract 0.5 from 10 that is the lower end of the class interval and add 0.5 from 19 that is the upper end of the class interval in the similar in similarly we have to subtract 0.5 from 20 that is the lower end of the second class interval and add 0.5 from 29 that is the upper end of the second class interval so like that so on so from in this way you are converting the inclusive form into exclusive form and after that the procedure happens to be the same okay so now this is the uh, we have converted it okay so from 10 we have subtracted 0.5 so then it becomes 9.5 and from 19 we have added 0.5 we are getting 19.5 so similarly for everything so 19 so now it has become continuous 19.5 29.5 29.5 39.5 and so on up to 79.5 and 29 89.5 this happens to be the x okay now then the number of persons frequency 32 42 40 just rewriting the uh, frequencies 2 and 2 now we have to find the mid value okay so now uh, this will be the x okay after you find the mid value that will become the x so how do you find the mid value because for the continuous series you have to take the assume in for that you have to find the mid value okay because this is in this range so it is in this range between 9.5 to 19.5 between 19.5 to 29.5 so you have to take the average of that so how do we take the average 9.5 plus 19.5 divided by 2 you are getting 14.5 19.5 plus 29.5 divided by 2 you are getting 24.5 29.5 plus 39.5 divided by 2 you are getting 
34.5 and so on like that you keep on taking the average of the value so 44.5 54.5 64.5 74.5 and 84.5 so now that this will become the x okay this will become the x so from this you have to take the assumed mean so now assumed mean is not from this you have to take the assumed mean from the x which that is the mid value which we have calculated so i have taken 54.5 as the mid value okay the rest of the procedure will be the same now you have to calculate the d dash so what is d dash x minus a divided by i what is i here i here is the 9.5 to 19.5 19.5 to 29.5 so what is i here i is the class interval the size of the class interval which is 10 isn't it i is the 10 the size of the class interval so what we are doing uh, x minus a divided by i i so 14.5 minus 15.5 uh, 54.5 is the assumed mean 14.5 is the first uh, class uh, first uh, value of x so 14.5 minus the assumed mean that is the 54.5 divided by the class interval that is 10 we are getting minus 4 so that's why the first one is minus 4 similarly for everything 24.5 minus 54.5 divided by 10 we are getting 3 34.5 minus 54.5 divided by 10 we are getting minus 2 44.5 minus 54.5 that is minus 10 divided by 10 we are getting minus 1 so 54.5 minus 54.5 divided by 10 will be 0 64.5 minus 54.5 it is plus 10 divided by 10 you are getting plus 1 74.5 minus 54.5 divided by 10 you are getting plus 2 84.5 minus 54.5 is 3 divided by uh, 10 sorry the, the 84.5 minus 54.5 is 30 divided by 10 we are getting plus 3 okay so now we have arrived at the value d dash so we already got the d dash what is the next ne next step you have to multiply d dash with the frequency that means what minus 4 into 32 that is the frequency here isn't it so minus 4 into 32 we are getting minus 128 minus 3 into 42 we are getting minus 126 minus 2 into 40 we are getting 80 minus 1 into 56 we are getting minus 56 0 into 20 we are getting 0 6 into 1 we are getting 1 6 and 2 into 2 we are getting 4 2 into 3 we are getting 6 plus six. all these are plus so we have all the negative values you add is minus 128 minus 126 minus 80 minus 56 so if you add all these values we are getting minus 390 and if you add all 6 plus 4 plus 6 we are getting plus 16 so 390 minus 16 minus 390 plus 16 we are getting minus 374 so this is sigma fd now we have to and we already know sigma f is that is n is 200 okay so now you apply the formula so x bar we have a so what is a your a we have taken the assumed mean as 54.5 and sigma fd dash we have arrived at minus 374 n we know the value which is equal to 200 i is the size of the class interval which is equal to 10 so x bar is equal to 54.5 that is the assumed mean plus minus 374 that is sigma fd dash divided by n that is 200 multiplied by class interval that is 10 so we are getting x bar is equal to 54.5 plus within brackets minus 18.7 if you simplify that you are getting minus 18.7 so 54.5 minus 18.7 we are getting 35.8 8. so final answer the value of x bar or the arithmetic mean happens to be 35.8 okay so you can cross check you can come without uh, the shortcut method also if you if you take you will get the same answer okay so this is how we are calculating for the continuous series or the, uh, this is the step deviation method the shortcut method uh, the values will be lesser so the answer will be simple. 
the calculation will be easy okay so this is the way to calculate the arithmetic mean hope you have understood uh, the different ways of the different methods of calculating for individual series so individual series it is just simple sigma x divided by n and for shortcut method a plus sigma fd by divided by n a is the assumed mean d is the deviation from x and sig n happens to be the sigma f okay and for the very shortcut method which we normally use for continuous series this is x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d dash divided by n into i i is the class interval d dash is the x minus a that is x minus assumed mean divided by the size of the class interval so if you find out these values or you apply this formula then you will arrive at the answer okay so this is that's all final answer is 35.8 okay so hope you have understood what are the how to calculate the how to compute the arithmetic mean okay so if you are getting it for five marks please attempt because you will get full five marks in all these numerical problems okay so if you have any doubts please mention them in the comment box otherwise if you find this video useful please like share and also subscribe to my youtube channel okay so until my next class take care bye bye